Hello and welcome to Linux Hints YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about data types in the C programming language. So what is a data type? Basically a data type is a keyword that tells the compiler that this is the type of value that we are going to be putting inside a variable. So the syntax of defining a data type is so you have a keyword that defines the data type can be integer, character, long, double and so on and then the name of the variable whose type we are actually defining. So in the C programming language, we have a wide range of data types starting from integers, long, float, character, double, unsigned integer and so on. As you can see on your screen, there is a chart that tells the keyword of the data type, the values it can store and the amount of memory that is required for that particular data type. So how to work with data types? Suppose you want to store integer values or whole numbers in that case, you want to use integer data type. So we have the keyword int. Now this keyword defines the type for the variable that I'm going to put after it. And for the name of the variable, I'm going to say num, which stands for number. And I'm going to give it some whole numbers. And to print out these values using the printf function, we have the format specifier percentage %d. Then we can simply say num. So if I were to run this code, I would get the output as 5. Similarly, I have a data type which is character. Now this character data type or char is used to store one single character. For example, let's give it some name. Let's say character one is equals to. Now this data type takes a character which is enclosed in single quotation marks. Let's say s. And to print out this character using the printf function, we need to use the format specifier percentage %c and then pass on the variable which was character one. So again, if you run this code, we get the output 5 from the previous number integer and then s. We can even change it to any character or to special characters. For example, let's say the dollar sign or the and symbol. Save the code, run the code again. This time around, we have 5 for the integer value and the and symbol for the character value. Similarly, if you want to store a value with some decimal points, we have the data type float. And in this float variable, we can store any value that contains a decimal point. And again, to print out this value within the printf function, we have the percentage %f, which is its format specifier. So if I clear up my terminal and rerun the code, this time around, I'm also printing out a value that contains a decimal point. That is how you use data types to define the type of the variable, which actually defines the type of value that the variable is going to be storing and then print out that value using the printf function by the use of format specifiers. Again, if you want to know about all the data types, then go back to the part of the video where you are being displayed a whole table of all the data types, their format specifiers and their memory allocations. 